Benjamin Franklin, the guy on the $100 note. Recently finished his autobiography and I'm gonna give you guys an honest review and be very raw. As you can see in the title, six out of 10, not very high on the rating. And I'm gonna be just spending this video just talking about the book and um, basically giving you guys like a summary, my thoughts on if you guys should read it, give you my biggest takeaways. And I, I'm very excited to sort of start my book review series. This is the first episode of my book reviews. I'll be doing more and more book reviews as I read more and more books. I wanna focus on giving you guys very honest and raw truth on what books I recommend, my rating, to make sure that you guys can sort of go through this playlist and read all the books I give a very high rating to because that's what I wish I could have had when I started to choose the books I read. So, what is the book about? The book is basically written by Benjamin Franklin himself where he talks about his journey and he documents everything from when he was like 10 years old up to when he was like 60 years old. And it's basically just him telling his own story. Not really a business related book, it's more of like a story, recounting of all the things he's done. That's sort of why I didn't rate it very high because it's just a recap of the things he's done. Uh, but what I can take away from it is that someone to be as successful as Benjamin Franklin has to be put through a lot of stress. Like at the age of 10, he came to America as a refugee. At the age of 17, he ran away from home because you know he wasn't getting support from his family and he went to a completely different state on his own with like, you know, a few changes in his pocket. And he, he had it rough, like he was going on random people's boats, he was asking for lodging, um, he was like basically asking for accommodation, he had to figure out food, he had to just eat cheap food like bread, and he continuously had to find a job every single town he went to. So he had a very rough sort of childhood, making him very strong and resistant. He was also a very hard worker, putting 110% into everything he's done. So those are the things I've learned just from reading his story. And I could see that he's also very diverse, being into politics, being into like community, being into like the army, being into entrepreneurship, building the news industry, like he's very diverse. And how he became successful is by doing all the crazy things that normal people wouldn't do. Like he would always take an extra step. Like he would go out of his way to create one of the first libraries. He would go out of his way to go ahead and create like a town sort of tax that everyone would pay for him to then hire cleaners to clean the streets and clean the houses. Like he was always finding problems and solving them. And that was very interesting to learn. So this book is for those who are willing to read someone so autobiography and if you want to take away things from this book you want to position yourself as an observing viewer you want to see yourself and observe the things that Benjamin Franklin does basically you don't want to just read it and follow along his story as if it's a movie you want to actually really analyze all the things he does all the different things he does all the different people he talks to learn and see how he's very charismatic how people just want to help him and take those qualities and apply it to your own life make your life harder do crazy things and that's sort of how you would get the most out of this book and then basically probably the most important thing in the book is benjamin franklin's 13 virtues i highly recommend you to google that it's basically 13 lists of things where each week he would focus on one of the virtues so by the end of the 13 weeks he's went through 13 virtues and his goal is to have spent every single day following those virtues so we have this chart set up with 13 virtues by seven days and he would leave a dot on days where he did not perform that virtue for that corresponding day of the week. And every week you'll just focus on one virtue so you don't get information overloaded. So every 13 weeks to have the paper as blank as possible. And as always, being a perfectionist, he never got to a point where it was blank because you can never be perfect and that's sort of what you have to do if you continue to grow. So I highly recommend everyone to search up Benjamin Franklin's 13 virtues and you could go ahead and just skip the whole book. Um, but yeah, overall, great book. It's written in old language, like sort of um, 1700s language, so it might be hard to read. I spent a lot of time using my phone to Google up definitions of words I didn't understand. So it's very good for like increasing your vocabulary. So I highly recommend that. When it comes to just sort of mix of knowledge, enjoyment, readability, cool strategies, I put it at a seven out of 10 
just because there wasn't too many actionable tips. It was just me observing Benjamin Franklin and reading his story and following along. It got a bit boring at sometimes when I'm just like reading an account of him like talking about war and talking about how he sort of climbed the ranks and like it's cool to see he climbed the ranks. Um, but you know, I want to learn about like how he made money, you know, how he was so successful. And he did reveal many of those things and that's why I give it a 7 out of 10. But that is the first episode of my book reviews and I'm very excited to bring this sort of series to my channel because one, it's going to force me to read more, two, it's going to provide you guys with some value and just, you know, right off the title you know if this is a book worth it or not worth to read. Like I want to give you guys my raw opinion just like what Gary Vee did with Wine Library and that's why I'm just going to give Savage rating like 6 out of 10 if I didn't think it was worth a read. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys liked it, be sure to drop a comment below, like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.